Top names in tech are gathering in Las Vegas for one of the industry's biggest events. The CES trade show brings together manufacturers, suppliers and analysts from across the technology world. This year it kicked off with a keynote speech from NVIDIA boss Jensen Huang. He unveiled a new system for training robots and self-driving cars at a much lower cost. The chat GPT moment for general robotics is just around the corner. Huang also revealed new chips designed to give video games movie-like graphics. They also feature AI technology that will help game developers create more realistic human faces. But the tech fest takes place this year under a looming shadow. In less than two weeks, Donald Trump will be sworn in as president, and he's promised sweeping tariffs on imports, particularly from China. Gary Shapiro is head of the Consumer Technology Association, the CES show organizer. He says protectionism doesn't help anyone. It hurts American companies, it hurts the American stock market, it hurts the retirement plans, the 401ks, the IRAs, and I know President Trump cares about all of that. So while tariffs are a negotiating tool for him, and we'll have some difficult, even terrorizing moments for the business community and American consumers, I think ultimately President Trump will do the right thing. However, Trump this week denied reports that he could scale back tariff plans, calling it more fake news. That's sure to see the firms gathered in Las Vegas asked whether they plan to change suppliers or move production. Trump has also vowed to end government support for sales of electric vehicles, nowadays a big focus for the tech sector. Updates on self-driving systems are expected at the show from firms including Toyota. In his keynote address, Huang said the Japanese auto giant would be buying chips from his firm to power driver assistance features. AI is also likely to remain a buzzword at the event, with the tech set to power everything from companion robots to immersive VR headsets. The CES show will run until January 10th.